Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama box puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the quickest route through that box, getting the ring around into different positions on the box and then separating it completely. And then how we can put it back together. Now there's a few ways I can show you how to do this. Hopefully I think I have picked the one that's easiest to follow and easiest to visually see and do. Let's hope that is the case and get straight on with that solution. Okay, so here is a fully assembled box puzzle with the the ring on the start symbol or engraving in there. Now, if you're solving this for yourself, the chances are you're probably not in the start position, but you will be able to figure out how to get, you'll either already be in one of the positions that we travel through, or you'll be able to get to one of them at least from where you are at the minute. And that's gonna be sort of your extra job, if you like, figuring out how to get onto the route that we're gonna be going through. So to make it easier to follow along to that, what I'm gonna be doing is holding the box still and moving just the ring around the box. I've tried it both ways. I think this is the easiest way to, or the easiest way to show it so that you can follow it along yourself. If I move the box, it gets a little bit harder to coordinate where you are because each of the squares on the box looks slightly different. Whereas if we keep this the same and just move the ring around, it's a little bit easier for you to follow along to. Now, what we're gonna do to start with is we're gonna take the ring and we're gonna go through the only way that we can go through from this start position. And we're gonna come to the left hand side of the box in here. And we're gonna keep the orientation the same and we're gonna go straight across out to the back of the puzzle in here. So now we're at this back sort of bottom corner and we're now gonna come around to the right hand side. So we're just gonna flip around to here, pull it through and now we're in this position on the right hand side of the box as we're looking at it here. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna to attach to two things. So at the minute we've just been attached to one of the axes of the box. Now we're gonna go up and over the top and we're gonna be connected by two of these axes. What we're gonna then do is we're gonna pass the ring around to the left hand side of the box into this position. So again, the box hasn't moved, it's that position there. We're gonna flip the gap in the ring to the bottom left hand side of the side uh, square of the box. And then we're gonna take it off two axes. We're gonna come straight up and then all we need to do is turn the gap to the inside top and we're going to separate from there. And putting it back together is essentially just a reversal of those moves. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to do it exactly the same way. We're going to hold the box in this orientation, start position at the bottom, or start engraving word at the bottom. And we're just going to move the ring around the box. So first of all, we're gonna to start top left as we look at, we're gonna attach on to there. We're gonna then turn the gap in the ring so it's facing down, and we're gonna attach to two of the edges of the box. And we're then gonna flip the ring around to the right hand side, and we're gonna put the gap of the ring to the top. We're then gonna come off two axes by sliding down in that position there. And then we're going to essentially come from this right hand square all the way around to the front and original position. So we slide over that back piece. So now we're at the back of the box and we then turn the corner and we come back onto the left hand side of the box. And then the final one, we come over this front left corner and we attach it back into its original start position. So there it is, that is the quickest route out and then the quickest route back together to get that ring around the box and then putting it back in that original start position. Now as I said during the solution, hopefully keeping the box still and moving the ring around the box I think is the easiest way to see the solution or to follow the solution from your perspective. Now hopefully this has helped you solve the box puzzle for yourself. If you want to see me struggle through the box puzzle for the very first time or the step-by-step -step solutions to any of these other Hanayama puzzles then be sure to click my face here and subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace!